Good morning, it's Ian Coleman from PIA First. It's Monday the 16th of April 2018. Um, today we're going to be looking at the FX majors. We're also going to look at the dollar index, break down the time frames to try and get uh, a bias uh, for the major currency pairs going into this week. Um, over the weekends uh, we had um, the US, France and the UK um, retaliating for the chemical attacks uh, in Syria. Um, we did see um, a higher open actually in dollar yen, which was quite surprising, but that gap has now been closed and we are moving to the downside. We are quite bearish on most uh, yen crosses this week and it is going to be uh, sort of the currency pairs or currency crosses that we're going to be concentrating on in uh, most of our currency reports. Um, Euro Swiss is also looking pretty prime for a move to the downside. Um, so we're going to, uh, to to cover that cross currency as well. So briefly, going to discuss the dollar index, breaking down the time frames. The monthly chart highlights um, the index to be in a large bullish channel formation. Had quite an impulsive move to the downside uh, since making um, the 103.82 high um, back in uh, the beginning of 2017. Now we are seeing little net, little net movement if you like um, in the index as we're consolidating within this uh, this monthly Ishimoku cloud. If we go to the daily chart we can see that this last leg lower looks to have completed a um, bearish Elliott wave formation stalling close to the 261.8% extension at 88.20. Uh, Impulse move to the upside but only to be rejected and a bearish outside day posted uh, close to this previous support which then becomes resistance. We've seen very mixed and volatile trading in the index. In fact we've had 31 days of mixed results and it's only until we break down to a shorter time frame uh, this is actually the 8 hour chart that we can see how volatile this price action has been. Now there is scope for further losses in the dollar index this week. Uh, we've got the channel base coming in around about 88.75 and that is close to this 78.6% pullback level at 88.82. So we're looking for that to be the main focus uh, for the dollar in the next few uh, next few days uh, and possibly uh, running into next week. Uh, now obviously if we reflect lower dollar bias onto most of the major currency pairs that means the euro dollar to the upside, sterling dollar to the upside, um, dollar uh, CAD obviously lower, uh, dollar Swiss lower. We've, we're going to be more aggressive in our bias for lower dollar Swiss than we are uh, actually in our bias for higher euro dollar and that's because we've got that correlation uh, that means that euro swiss should should move to the downside uh, but anyway let's break down the time frames first time frame is the uh, monthly chart euro dollar here we're in a bearish channel formation um, we've got trend line resistance at 126.38 We've also got this 38.2% pullback level at 125.22 and rallies up to there keep on being capped. But I think this level is going to be key this week and the shorter time frames are going to explain why. So if we go to the daily chart, here we've got two bullish uh, channel formations. So let's just put a trend line on that level, 126.38. Okay. Um, so we've got two bullish formations here. We've either got a corrective channel formation that has a bias to break to the upside, so looking to break through 124.36, or we've got a symmetrical triangle formation with dips being bought again and a break of 124.36 confirming. So although our immediate bias is to the upside, we'd only look for really a rally up towards this sort of level this week. Um, sterling dollar. And that's sort of playing out with what we were expecting in last week's video report. Um, the weekly chart, or the monthly chart, sorry, is highlighting inside bars. Um, 
they are a clear um, indication of investor indecision. Um, bespoke resistance is located at 143.84. Uh, we're not looking for a move above that level, but we do believe it's a key target level uh, for sterling dollar uh, this month. If we go to the weekly chart, here we can see that we've got a bullish channel formation that we're holding on to quite well. Um, previous swing high is located at 143.46. 261.8% extension level is 142.11. We look like we've surpassed, we're going to surpass that again. Um, and I believe we're going to get a fifth wave extension up to this 143.84 level. And in fact, if we go to shorter time frames, similar setup to what we're now seeing in euro dollar is that we've got a corrective channel formation. We're probably going to break to the outside. Sorry, we have broken to the outside. We haven't had a retest, which is actually what we were looking for today. Um, and we're seeing a continuation of this trend. Now, 143.84 um, is our resistance level. And then above that, we've got this 261.8% at 144.84. So immediate bias is bullish, but only up until this zone here where we're, we're expecting uh, sellers to return. Dollar Swiss, uh, monthly chart looks to be forming a descending wedge pattern as a bias to break higher. A break of 99.03 and 103.39. Uh, is the measured move target. Um, daily chart really gives, which we'll show the weekly chart to start with. Um, that sees the last move to the downside, stalling and buyers emerging underneath this 261.8% uh, level. That becomes a little bit clearer on the daily chart where we've got a bearish Elliott wave formation. So down in five, buyers re-emerge and then we've pushed higher um, quite aggressively really in uh, this bullish channel formation and that in turn has seen quite an aggressive move in those two swiss uh, swiss cross um, crosses that we we're talking about earlier euro swiss and sterling swiss however um 96.84 is our big spoke resistance we've then got a 61.8 percent pullback level at 94 uh, 97 so we're looking for that zone to cap buying this week with a stop placed above 97.67, uh, that offers quite a good risk reward trade uh, with 93.50 uh, being prime support going into uh, into this week. Dolly in, um, monthly chart, a potential bullish head and shoulders pattern. I'm having to say potential because it needs a break of 127.50 uh, to confirm that outlook. Um, the daily chart highlights um, again a 261.8% extension level at 104.54. Elliott wave pattern uh, deemed to be complete down here. Um, however, if you see this little small dotted line, this is actually our bespoke resistance coming in at 107.80, and levels above there uh, on Friday actually got sold into. Um, so it wasn't quite above there. It was 107.78 was the uh, was the high trade on Friday, and we're now expecting at least a corrective move to the downside. So we're looking for this pattern to potentially form this week. This trend of higher highs we believe is a neckline, and then a move lower to this channel base around about 105.90 could potentially make a bullish reverse head and shoulders. But it is our prime support. Okay, 106.62. His first support, which has been quite pivotal, and then 105.90. Um, dollar CAD, not a very clear picture in dollar CAD, but we're having to consider um, that dollar bias. Um, but obviously, with dollar CAD as well, we also have to consider oil. Um, the weekly chart looks like an ending wedge pattern. Again, we need to send, uh, see a break of this level here, which is, I mean, it's about 131.70, probably this week. Let's just drop it down a bit. Uh, 131.56. So we need to see a, a break there uh, to take um, this currency pair higher. Um, shorter time frames. If we look to this weekly, weekly chart, 
it actually highlights a move lower from the 61.8 percent um, pullback level so we're getting sort of mixed views in dollar cad uh, this does look like a corrective channel formation at the moment um, we've also got if we go to the daily chart a 61.8 percent pullback of this impulsive move so there's a real sort of mixture of of, of different outlooks if you like uh, in dollar cad the immediate bias is selling into rallies because of that dollar index outlook uh, 126.62 is short-term resistance but with this much indecision around this 61.8 percent uh, pullback level I think there's better currency pairs to be playing this week but like I said, immediate bias is to sell into into rallies. Long-term bias is to buy into dips, but we've not seen any prime support as yet. Uh, Aussie dollar, monthly chart, huge expanding uh, wedge formation that has an eventual bias to break to the downside. This whole move up from uh, the beginning of 2016 looks corrective. Um, the weekly chart, looks like an ending wedge pattern again we need to see break of support to confirm that's coming in around about 7620 uh, this week holding within the weekly ishimoku cloud that normally means that daily uh, results are pretty mixed and volatile um, could be an ending wedge um, this is quite an important candle friday's candle um, posted a 13 count a dmark 13 count now that normally means um, that um, that the rally is coming to an end and we should see um, a move to the downside however a dmark stop which is obviously a very important part of all trading uh, systems or analysis is uh, calculated by taking the length of that candle and then putting the length of that candle on top of the candle so it would put the the stop for that sort of sell outlook if you like all the way up at 178.80 which is a bit uh, rich um, especially considering risk reward is only down to sort of around about 76.50 so what we're looking for is we are looking for rallies to be sold into but we're actually looking at this 38.2 percent pullback level at 78.32 this week euro sterling um, monthly chart bearish outside bar breaking uh, through support um, really the longer time frame we'd expect a move down towards this sort of level 8303 however um, the daily chart let's just get the daily chart up highlights a doji style candle again a dmark 13 down here so really dips uh, potentially bought into um, at the start of the week uh, first resistance is at what 87.04 and then the second resistance is at, resistance is at 87.58 um, there is potential easy potential for for a move up here especially with the shorter time frame uh, have i got it up at the moment nope um, let's just remove these looking like a reverse head and shoulders pattern so if we just put the trend line on here okay so breaking out to the upside um, of a potential reverse head and shoulders so left shoulder head right shoulder and then a move higher I mean the projected um, measured move target for this very small uh, head and shoulders pattern is not is is not is not massive it's 87 the figure and if we break down to the daily chart 8705 is our resistance so we're expecting if we do get a move to the upside in this currency pair that it's going to be pretty mixed and pretty volatile this week um, euro yen this was our trade of the week last week um, breaking down time frames bearish outside month um, posted in February 
Marabuzo level at 132.76. That's been capped in uh, in Friday's Friday's trading. And if we break down to the daily chart, we can actually see here an A B C D formation lining up pretty well uh, with that 132.76 um, level. Now we've only seen a correction count on the daily chart, not an exhaustion count. So a correction count is a nine count. That normally means that we will see at least a move uh, to the downside. An exhaustion count normally means that the rally is finished. So there's still scope for dips to be bought, but we are still looking for this rally uh, to get exhausted this week. And obviously next upside resistance is at 133.22, uh, which is a 38.2, sorry, which is the 50% pullback level um, of that last aggressive move to the downside, 137.48. Uh, 128.95 so last look is basically going to be uh, euro swiss now this is the day um, the well the eight hour chart let's actually make turn it into a daily chart okay and we've seen an aggressive and impulsive uh, move higher inside bar posted on friday um and then we are potentially just dip buying if, if you like at the moment now the most important factor um, on a bearish outlook for euro swiss is that we've seen a weekly 13 count on d mark it would mean having a stop at 120.11 so obviously with that being right up here we don't really want to be sort of selling into rallies but we are looking uh, for short short term uh, topping uh, formations in um, Euro Swiss, and we haven't got any as yet. I mean, there's a potential for this to be a wedge, um, but I think we're sort of really trying to force a pattern, if you like, on that pair. If we get a breakdown uh, below 118.38, then prime support is going to be down here, 116.60 this week. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the video analysis um, if you have any questions please feel free uh, to ask or post them and um, enjoy your week and we'll see you again next Monday thanks very much